Yeah, I remember what it felt like. It's just a small town kind of life. Hey guys, sorry about this bit. Where is it? This bit. Um, this is the only way I can set my phone up in my car um, because I've got a mini now and there's no... Um, like in my Peugeot, I had a little bit where I'd like always keep loads of stuff and my camera slash phone before my camera died RIP would balance in there so for now it's just gonna have to go like in the steering wheel um, but it's just a chill video today I've got my coat and everything on I probably should take it off but it's pretty cold so this morning I asked you guys um, to ask me questions on Instagram on the little little questions tab thing and I just wanted to answer them have I got toast in my teeth this looks so dirty. Where is it there? Are you clean? So the first question is, where do you live now? You say you've moved away and in with your boyfriend, but where is that? Well, when I was 20... Was I 23 or 22? I think I was 23. I can't remember. Oh no, I was 22 because I'm... 24 nearly 25 now I can't remember basically I think it was like April 2017 how old was I yeah so I was 22 it was almost 23 April 2017 um, I moved across the UK to um, Northamptonshire to move in with my boyfriend and his dad um, at the time, it, I didn't actually know it was going to be as permanent as it has been. Um, trust me, it's caused a lot of shit in my life. Um, but that's fine, not everyone understands. Um, and I moved in with... I literally had known him for four months and I moved in. I know it's crazy, but I mean, two, nearly two and a half years later and we're still together, still strong as ever, so I feel like when you know, you know, and it was just one of those things. So yeah, I moved, um, it was quite a split decision, I quit my job at the time and I tried like, I dabbled in like a couple of other jobs and they never, they just didn't go to plan. I hated one of them, the second one, the people were absolutely horrific, so I just left and I was like, okay, bye. And then I think I remember texting him like, yeah, do you know what, I'm gonna move. And I just did. I just put all my stuff in my little Peugeot 107 and I moved and yeah. <laughs> I mean I was 22 and I feel like these days people move out at like 18. Do you know what I mean? Even 17, 16. Um, and I've always played it safe my whole, I've played it safe my whole entire life. So I just decided that I wanted to friggin just jump at a chance that I was getting um, and it turns out since living there I've found a job that I that I actually really like I've met so many like amazing people some of my best friends ever and then after living with his dad for I think like a year and a half at least um, we only just moved into our own place still in Northamptonshire um, in October October 2018 um, and trust me I have an update on the whole where we are living situation for you coming real soon um, or I'll just I'll just mention it in a vlog or whatever but um, you might find that um, you might be a little confused um, anyway I'll mention that when it gets to it we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it but um, yeah we now live in a flat of our own just me Harry and our little cat blue um, and yeah the rest is history. The next one is, where is it? Are you going to have your hair cut short again? I really liked it. Thank you. Actually, fun fact, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. Um, I don't hate my hair as it is. I haven't had my hair cut or dyed since last June. So it has been like eight months, like a long ass time. And the only thing that's wrong with it really is I've got a little bit of split ends going on. It's nothing major and when my hair is longer I like to have it in the middle part and you'll notice when it's shorter I usually always have it in a side thing so that you can like zhuzh it up and stuff. Um, and I'm actually really surprised at the, the uh, how much the colour has stayed as well. I do use quite a lot of dry shampoo and if I don't it is dark. I, you can kind of see it's dark to like here like here um, and it's really dark like my natural hair has gotten so dark I don't know I don't know what happened there but um obviously just as I've gotten older my um 
hair got darker which is why I started having highlights in the first place but yes I'm having my hair done tomorrow I'm having it platinum blonde again as always um, but I don't know how short I'm gonna go I don't know if I'm gonna go as short as I usually would um, I'm just gonna see when I get there see what they see what the girls think I'm going to a different hairdressers actually and um, the girl that's cutting my hair I used to be she used to be like my best friend since I was like three years old and then we just lost touch um, through the school days you know you end up with new friends blah 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 but I messaged her because I know that she owns a salon now and I was like hey do you want to do my hair <laughs> um so it'd be nice to have a catch-up actually um yeah so yes I'm having my hair done um but I don't know if it's gonna be as short as usual these answers are so long I do apologize the next one I had a lot of these a lot of these questions now I need to explain myself on this one and it is why don't you use your old YouTube channels anymore you had so many subscribers I know okay so if you watched me before I created this channel you'll know that I had one channel which was like vlog slash beauty stuff hair stuff you know all that jazz and then I had another channel which was just me singing songs I've written songs I was covering and that's how it was for a while and then I'd been doing YouTube since like 2009 I think and at the time I was quite established like I was getting hundreds and thousands of views and I don't know my channel was like booming at the time but in this industry <clears throat> and in any kind of like in any industry really you can have times where it dips and then it comes back and then it dips and sometimes people lose interest um, I was losing interest because I've been doing it since I was like 15 and it's nearly 10 years ago now that I started doing YouTube videos um, and, and I just wasn't vibing with the stuff I was filming anymore like it was a completely different person like me as a 15 year old and me as a 24 year old is they're like two completely different people obviously it's the same me but like you change a lot over those years especially in your teens and your early 20s like you change a fuck load so there was that aspect but then also um i was signed to um a network who helped me with a lot with like my music stuff etc no tea no shade but i kind of almost lost access to um like my adsense and how my channel was doing um the email address that my um beth and horton singing channel was signed up to i haven't got access to that email address so i don't know what emails are coming through to that and it was just getting so confusing this is probably like i'm probably not supposed to say any of this but like i don't give a shit and i just wanted to be fully in control of what i was doing and i wanted to start just creating new content you like new and fun and fresh <laughs> um and i just wanted to see how many of you guys would actually come across with me and it goes to show the fact that i've only just got over a thousand subscribers how many people were actually watching my videos it wasn't a lot like i had all these subscribers but they were like dead channels or people just kind of lost interest you know that's just how people that's just how life is but i thought do you know what? i'm gonna start again and just do exactly what i want to do and start fresh and if it kicks off then it does if it doesn't then it wasn't meant to be you know but i still am here uploading and that is why i started a new channel I just wanted to say as well thank you so much to like all of you who have been with me been with me since day one and subscribed to this channel I know exactly who you are I know your names I see you all the time commenting and liking my Instagram posts etc and I just love you you're the reason why I carried on doing this and it's just the best we'll finish off on a light one what is your favorite Starbucks drink Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that my favourite Starbucks drink, I ha actually have two empty ones in my car right now. Gross. Um, it's just an iced caramel macchiato. Honestly, best drink ever. Delicious. Beautiful. Anyway, that turned out slightly longer than I thought it was going to be, and I didn't answer too many questions, but if you have any, just let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what kind of videos you want to see, or what kind of songs you want me to cover. I want to do a lot of songs um, I'm feeling really musical lately I think it's because I've seen like a star is born and then like bohemian rhapsody and I'm just literally living the musical life anyway 
I'm gonna go home now and edit this video. <laughs> I'm in Wales at the moment. I'm actually near the cinema by the McDonald's I used to work at. I'll see you guys next time. I love you so much. Goodbye, goodbye.